Welcome back in on News 5. We are pleased to be joined by a few adaptive runners who will be competing in the Spartan Race at Fort Carson Post this weekend. Earl, Andrew, and Jonathan, and their service dogs Gunner and Little Miss Zoe. Guys, uh, if you've never experienced a Spartan Race, it is something to be experienced. It is something to be seen. Earl, uh, you've done these for, for years. What are people going to experience? What are you going to experience when you get out there? You know, just another challenge. Uh, after I lost my leg, I wanted to you know, stay physically active, and I found a lot of that was through the OCR community, and especially the Spartan races. And it, you know, it's not going to be easy, but you got to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. I have seen videos of these. I've never done one. Uh, we've got mud, we've got dirt, we've got razor wire, we've got fire. What is the hardest part about doing these Spartan races? The hardest part I'd say is just signing up. <laughs> you're working on that joke off camera. I oh, heard you absolutely. talking about it. But when you're going through it, and I know you're probably trying to make a good time and finish it yourself, but I mean, is there a point where you're just like, I, this is just too much for me. I can't handle this stuff. Well, you can't think of it like that. I mean, obviously you signed up for a reason, and whether it's for a personal goal or actually make that podium, stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself like that. And we'll be going together as a team this weekend, Operation Enduring Warrior and Oscar Mike, and our mission is helping guys in situations like this challenge themselves and not let something like this define who they are. We'll be working as a team, stepping out of your comfort zone and uh, getting out there and doing it. All three military members, all three retired. You guys, uh, you know, what does it mean to you to not only participate in this race, but to do it at Fort Carson amongst active service members and others who might be going through the same things you guys have been through? Well, I think it's uh, to be a part of something once again, I feel like within this organization, physically challenging ourselves at Fort Carson with the Honor Series in Spartan Race, all military venues. It's nice to get out there and be a part of this still. We might not be carrying a rifle and combat boots anymore, but to get out there, challenge yourself, be with our comrades, brothers and sisters in arms, it's a great feeling. When you guys do these, how good is it to just see fellow service members, some who may be going through what you guys have been through, come up and ask questions, get involved and just you know, maybe get back to normal life a little bit. Well, I think it's good too, and it shows us don't give us pity. You know, stuff, stuff happened with us, and we're not going to let it slow us down, but if you ever want to be involved with us and be a part of this team, by all means, you're always welcome. Okay, so you guys are going to be taking part in it, but who can participate in it? How do they get involved? Anybody can participate. Go to SpartanRace.com or even our organizations, Oscar Mike and Operation Enduring Warrior. Get out there, challenge us, find us online and it's open to everybody. Come along alongside us and be challenged. Looking forward to it. Jonathan, you had something else to add because it's not just about the race, there's more to this. Yes sir, it's about giving back to the community. And I wanna say, uh, one of the outreach events that we're gonna do is Friday night, it's called a City Rock. Uh, we use the term rock, that's how we march, carrying a bag. We're gonna start tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Wild Eye School. Ivy Wild School. Thank you sir. And we're gonna march 30 miles to Garden of the Gods. It's going to be e uh, easy pace, but it's an opportunity for us to actually get to know the community as well as honor our police op officers, like Andrew. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the City Rock Tour is about bridging the gap between the community and police. Uh, you know, it's been a few, a rough few years for law enforcement. And this event all over the country is allowing us to get out with the police officers, see that they're humans just like we are, and get to know one another and hopefully b uh, bring the community closer to in the police offices that serve them. So, Okay, on Saturday and Sunday, who's gonna do the best in the race? Probably these two down there. <laughs> Gunner and Zoe, they're two service dogs. Saturday and Sunday at Fort Carson, we've got the big race going on, and on Friday, City Rock, anybody get involved, help out with our injured servicemen and our police officers from Ivy Wild School up to the Garden of the Gods.